Hi, Linda Artisani, Artisani Bookkeeping. I just wanted to do a brief video today on Intuit's merchant services. Um, there's a lot of talk about how they're a little bit more expensive, but I like to remember that a lot of it may, because it's embedded in the program, is automated. And there's also a free way to receive a payment from a customer through ACH. And I've, most every client I have is in it. I've got a couple that don't like online, but I am in Florida. So, um, Population's a little older. <laughs> so let's go here to this uh, my sample company. So this is the new version. So you'll see sales and expenses instead of customers and vendors. It's the same thing. If you click on sales, you'll come here. I don't have any data in this particular company. So I'm going to send my first invoice. How you will set this up in your system is you'll come to your invoice in your in your company file and you'll see there's payment options, credit card and free bank transfer ACH. It's a wonderful thing um, using the ACH. I actually have been using it for a very long time, so I pay the 50 cents. The caveat with the 50 cents per transaction is I receive my payments generally the next day. It's up to three business days. With the free version of the ACH, you actually have to wait about three to five days. So that's what you give up for them to float your money and, and to get it for free. So it's up to you. Um, it also has the ability, ability to generate a, a, an invoice with a credit card, be able to send in an invoice where the client can pay with their credit card and you don't have to do anything. You send the invoice, it has a live link, they click on it and they set up a little account with Intuit and they can put their credit card details in there or their banking in details in there. It's a real simple process. You click get set up and as you come in here you'll see that there'll be a chat if you need help. You can see the pricing, so swiped invoices paid online, and you have to key them in. And then there's no monthly fees, no termination fees, no hidden fees. If you receive more than $7,500 a month, you do have to contact them. Um, they have different rates, and it's just a different process because it's that's quite a bit of money coming in. So you might have to go through a little bit more of a vetting to be connected for this kind of thing. So it's up to you, but just setting up the payments. It's a simple process. You click here and you fill out your generic information. You'll find out very quickly. They're going to do a little credit check on you. You're going to find out very quickly whether or not you've been approved. Very simple. So I'm going to take you to what one of those invoices would look like if I had the free bank transfer checked off on it. So I'll come down to my email and here's the email that my client would receive. And it's a bill from me for uh, $3,343.60. And you can see that the customer can see a little snapshot of the video, but if they want to view the invoice and pay it, you click here. And this brings you to the secure page. So I've already set my secure page up. I've already put my routing numbers in here to be paid for this. This is what your client would do. And this has already been set up in mine. So you'll see that I have the ability to pay now. So if I click pay now, if I hadn't set it up, I would have had to put all my routing numbers in, but it's here and all I had to do is send payment and I will get an email that says your clients paid you. And that's basically all there is to do. Now, if it was a credit card, you'd have to have that set up as well. And your client, like I said, makes that little entry so that it's in there for the next time they pay so they can click on again and pay by credit card. But you do have the option to click either box. I like to send my invoices out with just the ACH because the fee is less. If they pay it, if they contact me and say, look, money's tight, I need to pay you, but I can't pay you, I need a credit card, then I'll click the other box and resend the invoice. It's that simple. I hope that was a helpful video. I really do love that process because when the client pays me, I send an automatic email out. It works really well with my, um, we have rental properties and we have all the tenants set up so that recurring invoices happen on the first and they get sent out to my tenants and the tenants can pay online. A lot of them requested that they get their invoice ahead of time because they know late charges are in effect after the first or at least a five day grace period. So they, they asked me to send the invoice ahead of time. You can do that in recurring invoices as well. The, the customer or the tenant in this case would receive the bill showing their rent. They click to pay it. It electronically happens. I get an email saying that they've paid their rent. And then when I click onto their um, click onto that particular company page, the deposit's already put in. I don't have to enter the payment. I don't have to group it for deposit. It's done automatically. So it's really wonderful. So automation at its best. 
reason why I love QuickBooks Online, it works with programs. I don't have to do that manual entry. I've been doing this work since 1999 in my own company. And prior to that, I worked two years doing bookkeeping. So the fact that I don't have to do all that keyboarding that I used to do is why I love HubDoc. You don't have to do the keyboarding. It's, I just scan the bill or I get it directly emailed and it just magically appears in QuickBooks. It's a wonderful thing. I can scan my bills, go to the beach, come home, and they're all in QuickBooks. So how can you not love that? I hope that's helpful. Um, I'll probably do a video on HubDoc in the near future. It's, it's really a great product. If you have any questions or future comments, you feel like they're put down, maybe future, um, any comments or maybe a future blog that you'd like me to do or a video that you'd like me to do on a topic, just leave me some notes here in, in the YouTube channel or you can actually um, link onto my Facebook page. I'll put that in the blog post. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.